Hi boys and girls, welcome to 2021. We'll be starting multiplication today, chapter four. Now, I don't want you to freak out. You already know more multiplication than you think you do. When you've been skip counting since first or second grade, two, four, six, eight, ten, or five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, or even your tens, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, that skip counting is the beginning strategies of, of multiplication. Also, if you know some of your doubles, 2 plus 2 is 4, 6 plus 6 is 12, 9 plus 9 is 18. If you know two numbers that are added together like that, that's another strategy of understanding multiplication. Okay, so you know a lot more than you think you do to start with. What will we be studying? Uh, let's see. We're going to learn how to multiply, and how do we do that? We're going to talk a lot about um, rows and columns. So I have four rows that go across the page, and there are five columns. One, two, three, four, five. Columns are things that kind of hold, like if you have a porch or a deck, sometimes there's a column that holds a roof line up. So it's a support. So I have rows times columns. Four rows times five columns is 20. And how can I do that? I can do it a couple ways. I can just add in my head four here plus four more here is eight plus four more here is 12 plus four more here is 16 plus four more here is 20. So I just went four and four more right there would be eight. And you just keep going with it. You can also do it down the side. 5 right here plus this 5 is 10, 15, and 20. Okay? So we'll, we do a lot with that through um, this whole chapter. And what are those called? That's learning to multiply using another strategy that's called an array. Okay? And you're going to see a lot of those, and we practice that a lot. So what are we doing? We're putting them in equal groups. You're going to see a multiplication sentence, two numbers that come up with an answer. And what are those terms or vocabulary? Factors. Factor times a factor equals a product. So one times six equals a product. Three times five equals the product. So um, factor, factor equals product. Those are terms in multiplication. Okay, and what else will we touch on? Um, we're going to be doing understanding the commutative property of multiplication in this chapter. We're going to be looking at combinations and how that helps us solve things. And also making tree diagrams to help us understand multiplication. Okay, so today what you will see is, am I ready? And if you look at it, it's really just, multi it's really just repeated addition. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So 2 plus 2 more, 4. 4 plus 2 more, 6. And 6 plus 2 more is 8. That's that skip counting that you've been doing forever. Okay? And I got three boxes here. So those represent the three equal groups that I have. So how many are in each, each group? 5. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 15. And that's kind of how this first sheet will go. Am I ready? And then you'll see another one that looks very similar to it. And it does the same thing across the top. But here you have to write the addition sentence. So I have, this has, they're in groups of 2. So I'm going to say um, 4 times 2, because they have four equal groups. One, two, three, four. Four groups of two, and yeah, it's eight. Okay, so that's the other one. And that's all for now.